Hi guys, today I want to show you how to draw this fish. I'm going to talk you through the whole process, but I'm going to particularly focus on how to draw the scales. There is a lot of texture and detail in here, so I'll show you the easiest way to build that up. But first, let's start with the fish's head. Now the first thing that I always like to do with whatever I'm drawing is to start with the base layer. So what I'm doing is I'm looking at my reference and I'm looking for the lightest colour I can see in this section. With that in mind, I'm going to begin with this grey and I just want to put a light covering down over the whole area of the head. To do this, I've got a nice sharp pencil and I'm working in little circular motions to try and make this nice and smooth. Most importantly, I'm doing this extremely lightly. I don't want to press hard at this point. Now that I've got a base layer down, I can start looking for any other light colours. I'm going to start using this light blue now and I just want to fill in a couple of areas like under here just to begin building up these colours. From here basically what I want to do is I've started with my lightest colours, I want to build them up and work my way up to the darkest colours. So I'm going to begin here with a kind of mid grey and I'm going to use this to start filling in some of the details and just getting them marked out so that I know where I'm drawing. So you can see that I'm drawing out the mouth, the eye and also shading in some above the top of the head. If there's an area that I want to make a little bit darker, I'm just going over that area a few more times, pressing a tiny bit firmer but not full force. Mostly I'm building up the colour by going over the area a couple of times. As I get round to the right hand side of the head, kind of the back of the head, there are a few scales here, but they're very different to the scales on the back of the fish. So all I'm doing here is marking out the shapes of the scales and leaving gaps between them with the base layer showing through. I'll build them up more in a second. So what this has done is given me a pretty good template to work off of. So what I want to do is compare the drawing to my reference and see which brighter colours I need to start adding in now. I'm going to begin with this bright blue and fill in these scales here. And I'm also going to draw some of these oranges and reds you can see around here. Now that I'm happy with that, I can move on again to a darker colour. This isn't my darkest colour, it's just a very dark brown. I can now start filling in some of the darker areas I can see on my reference. There's a lot of dark areas on the eye, so I'm going to start there. And then I'm going to kind of work my way out from there. As I'm filling in these little scales on the right hand side of the head, I'm noticing that they're a little bit darker down here and a little bit lighter over here. So I'm just varying my pressure with the pencil, pressing a little bit firmer on the darker areas just to start filling in that shading. I'm now noticing that there's a lot of reddy brown tones around here. So I want to put those in and then I can move on to black, obviously the darkest color. I'm only using this to go over the absolute darkest areas of this fish's head, which actually is quite a bit. Although this is a very colorful fish, its head is actually quite dull, it's quite dark. And now that I've got these darkest values in, I can start having a look at if there's any colors that I've used before that I want to go back over. So I'm gonna do a few touch-ups and the last thing I'm gonna do on the fish's head is I'm just gonna use this craft knife. What I'm doing here is just scraping away some of the top layers of pencil to reveal some of the layers underneath. I'm using this on the eye because the orange around the eye is quite crisp and it's quite bright and I want to make the orange on the drawing pop a little bit more. All right, that's the head done. Let's move on to the body and look at how we can create these scales. Now the easiest way to draw scales is to get a really good base down before you even think about putting in any of the texture. So once again, like I did on the head, I'm looking for the lightest value I can see in this section. So I'm going to use this very light blue and in the same way I did for the head, I'm going to put a nice even base layer down. So I've got a nice sharp pencil, I'm working in little circular motions to try and get this nice and smooth and I'm pressing very lightly. I'm now going to work through a couple of different blues to build up this base layer. So starting from the lightest and working my way up to the darkest. So let's have a look at the reference together so you can see what I'm looking at. So you'll notice that along the top along here, it's very, very light. There's then this dark strip that's going through almost the center. And there's this other light blue area, which isn't a dissimilar color to the area at the top running through here. 
this light area also flicks up a little bit at the end and then there's a dark blue area once again at the very back of this section. So that's essentially what we're wanting to create here as a base layer. You look past the scales and draw the colors that you can see underneath those scales. So now I've worked up through the blues, I also want to shade in the very darkest area, which is along the top up here. And to draw these, I'll be using a cool gray instead of a blue. Last thing I want to do here before I move on to actually drawing the scales is just add in a little hint of this purple. My rule is always, if you can see it, you should draw it. So I can see some purple in here. I'm gonna lightly put that in. All right, let's start drawing the scales. The main color that I can see in between these scales is a dark blue. So that is the color that I'm gonna use to mark all of these out. And I can always adjust that color later if I need to. And the first thing that's very important is you need a sharp pencil. This is the easiest way to be accurate as you're doing this. Now the key to drawing these scales isn't perfectly copying the reference. That would be very, very hard. You want to be looking for a few things. So first off, let's look at the size of the scales. On this side up here, they're really quite small. And then as we get more towards the middle of the fish, particularly around here, they get far, far bigger. And then as we get to the end of the fish, once again, they get smaller again. You'll also notice that they're larger in the center and a bit smaller around the outside. So that's the first thing we want to do is as we're drawing these, we want to try and recreate the size of the scales. Also notice how they all go together. If you start at the top of the fish's head and work your way down to the bottom, you can draw one scale off of the last scale as you can see me doing here. You also want to notice that they're not all pointing in the same direction. For example, these scales are going up in this direction. And then as we work our way around the fish's body, they start pointing more in this direction. And then once again here, they're pointing up here. So by the time that you've marked all of this out, bearing in mind the size and the direction of the scales, you should have something that looks roughly like this. I wouldn't say it's looking realistic at the moment, but that's okay. I'm just gonna add a couple of little bits of shading onto this fin, just using some flicking motions with my pencil to try and create the strokes that I can see on this fin. And then I can start shading in these scales a little bit more. So I'm using the same color here and what I want to do is start shading them in a bit. When you look at a single scale, you'll notice that it's not all one color. The scales tend to be darker to the left where there's a bit of overlap from the previous scale and then they get lighter towards the right hand side. So I want to go over each scale and just lightly shade on the left. And you can see as I've done this, what a massive difference that's made already. Now, not all areas between the scales are the same color, particularly around the back up here, it's much, much darker. So I'm gonna go back to my cool gray and just go over some of the lines between the scales here. I'm doing most of this at the top, but I am also adding in the odd line at the bottom where I can see it's a bit darker. I'm also gonna add some light shading over the top now if there's any colors that I want to slightly adjust. I'm just gonna add a few blues over the top to do that. I don't wanna do this too much because I don't want to risk blurring the lines that I made to create the scales. That said, I will show you shortly how you can correct this if you do smudge any of the lines too much. First though, I want to build up some more of the shading on this fin here. I'm using a mixture of light reds, dark reds, and some of the blues that I was using for the body of the fish just working in flicking motions to build up this fin. The last thing I want to do with the pencil on the scales is fill in some of the darker areas, particularly where the head meets the body. So I'm using this dark brown, which is a color that I used on the head, just to go between some of these scales. And it's just making it a little bit less of an abrupt edge between these two areas. The last thing I want to do now on the scales of the fish is just tidy up some of these edges. So I'm gonna go back to using my craft knife that I used for the eye. And I'm gonna scrape away the, particularly the right hand side of the scales. That's because that is the lightest side of the scales and scraping away some of the color pencil on this side will reveal the lighter layers. Make sure that you are careful when you use a craft knife though. 
If you want to see this process with the scales in more detail, I do have an in-depth tutorial with real-time footage on my Patreon. I also have loads of other tutorials, so do check out the link in the description. All right, let's move on to drawing the fins now. These are very colorful and they're built up of quite a few colors. But as always, let's once again start with the base layer. And I'm gonna use this light blue, the same light blue that I used for the body. I find it helpful to start with the most prominent shapes and then I can work from there, but I've got a bit of a template that I can work from. So on this fin, I'm gonna start with these red sections and I'm just gonna lightly mark out the shapes. From there, I can start looking at the colors around those red areas and start building them up. So I'm beginning with the purple here and just filling in between the red spaces. And then I can start building up some of the blues that are particularly on the left-hand side and where the fin meets the fish. Having done that though, my red isn't as prominent now as it looks in the reference. So I can go back over it with a darker red and then do the same again with the blue. And it's just a case of constantly looking at the reference, looking at the drawing, working out what color I think is missing. And then I focus on particularly that color and draw just those areas in and bit by bit it builds up. So you can see here, I'm adding in some streaks with this very dark purple. And from that, I can see that I'm missing some purpley pink tones in between these dark purple strips. I would say that although this fin looks very overwhelming, if you break it down into shapes and work one color at a time, it does build up quite easily. The last thing I'm going to do on this fin is just build up particularly around the edge with this light blue again just because it is a little bit brighter around the edge. And then there's this lighter band that's kind of going through here. Although the fin at the bottom is mostly made up of reds, I'm gonna approach this in the same way. So once again, I'm beginning with a base layer and then I can take quite a light red and just mark in some of the key shapes. From here, I can start working my way through the colors. So beginning with a darker red, I'm filling in some of the shaded areas. And then I'm also gonna add in some of this dark blue, particularly around the edge again. Once I've got a good template to work off of, I can start building up some of the darker tones and be more confident about where they need to go. And I can also build up the reds more to make them brighter. The tail fin is using very similar colors to the top fin. So I can put down my base layer once again and begin marking out the prominent red streaks. I can then once again start with these lighter purples and blues and build up to the darker tones. And there you go. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a like and don't forget to click the subscribe and the notify bell so you never miss an art tutorial. Happy drawing guys, I'll see you in the next one.